morning. Today I'm going to do Psalms 100 verse 3 again and look at just the, the sheep dynamic of this verse. It says, Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us, and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. I notice more often than not that Jesus always refers to us as sheep. Sheep have a tendency to like to cluster together. They have a tendency to be loyal sometimes. And then there's wayward sheep. They go off and just drift. They can be not the smartest animals at times. So the Bible always refers to us as sheep because also listening to shepherds and wolves. If you look in John 10, let me see, yeah. John 10, verse one, he says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd, who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. You want to see some sheep know their, see if sheep know their good shepherd? Watch this. <laughs> one more time. Oh, one is, one is See, the sheep didn't just follow anybody. They listen for that particular voice. They know them. And how do we know our shepherd? How do we know the Lord? Well, we know him through this. This is his voice. The Bible is his voice. And there's something interesting about animals and humans. We're pre-programmed with things before we're even born. A baby knows to latch onto their mother as soon as they're born. A, as you saw the other day, a wildebeest knows how to walk within two minutes. Cats know how to use a litter box. And I'm, I'm making this point to say that instinctively, knowing right and wrong, we do. We know what the Lord wants. Instinctively, we tend to follow this. We know not to kill and steal and be unloyal and not let our yeses be yeses and our nays be noes, nays. We know what to do right. And if sometimes we don't listen to that small voice, even without being saved, we, we know. But in case we have any other doubt, read this word. 
I really know my shepherd's voice because of this. Because there are also false shepherds. And they tend to seem good, but they always they turn you in the in the last second. They're like rat poison. They're ninety-nine point nine nine percent food and point zero one percent rat poison. And that point zero one percent rat poison when we get loyal to them, when we become sheep to, to these shepherds of, of, of bad shepherds, we fall for a trap in our loyalties. We should always listen for his voice. Does it match up to his word? This word is not hard to understand. The Lord made it common for us. He, he gave us parables and things. But yes, that's how we instinctively know our shepherd's voice. You know it from the Holy Spirit. You know it from the still voices that you were born with. And you know it from the word. It always matches the word of God. Just as the father knows me and I know the father. And I lay down my life for sheep. And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also. And they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. He's talking about Gentiles and Jews. Here he was referring to Jews, the Gentiles he brought together. And now it's everybody. Jesus died for every single human being. We're one flock. But yeah, a hired hand, they won't, they won't, they won't die for the flock. They do not care for the flock. And when the Lord asks us to take care of his sheep <laughs> as he kept asking peter do you love me peter he said yes lord i love you take care of my sheep do you love me peter yes lord i love you feed my sheep do you love me peter yes lord i love you clothe my sheep sometimes we're to be hired hands for him but should we be fearful no, we got to use the Holy Spirit to, to keep us strong. And I love that the Lord, he says, he don't leave us when the wolf comes. He does not leave us when bad things come, when Satan comes, when the powers and principalities come to take us. He's always there. They, we, we hear his voice. He never left us. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. And may we hear your voice. May we get on the, get in the word by ourselves in our lonesome, Father, so that we can always hear your voice. And we know the right things to do. And we know that you won't leave us. Thank you, Father. And Lord, we pray today for, for those that are doing bad things that feel like they need to to survive. Lord, please help them escape their situations. Help them escape their plots. And may many always be saved, Lord. In Yeshua's name, amen. Goodbye.